Okay. To graph a quadratic function, because that does occur, right? Okay. Uh, we don't make a big long table. We graph by transformations. So the process is one, find the vertex, two, identify the vertical stretch. Graph by transforming the y equals x squared graph. Right? Okay, so how do we find the vertex? Use a quadratic formula. This is a quadratic equation, and this is a quadratic formula, right? As long as you use it, I don't really care what you call it. But if you call it the right thing, it helps make your thinking clearer. Okay? But anyhow. Here's your axis of symmetry, right? And then plug into to get the y coordinate. The y coordinate of what? Well, what are we trying to find? The vertex, right? There are two coordinates. You haven't found the vertex just because you've found the axis of symmetry. Although there's partial credit for just finding the axis of symmetry. Knowing that is worth something, right? Okay? I respect it. But we want to see the whole process. Okay? So now that we know the vertex, we identify the vertical stretch. Okay? stretch is a coefficient of x squared, right? And we've explained that, so hopefully when you do that you can explain why, okay? Then graph by transformations, okay? Well, Shift is a y coordinate. Horizontal shift is the x coordinate, right? Because the vertex of this graph is 0, 0, you got to move the vertex to the point you got here. So you got to move it horizontally, you got to move it vertically to that point. Okay? Um, so when you're graphing, you can see that the equation. is a times x minus h squared plus k.
where the point HK is the vertex, right? A is the same as it is here, and if you expand that square using the distributive law, right? And you're going to get an AX squared, so it's going to match up with this. And I said that last time, but it's worth saying twice, okay? So, your vertical stretch factor is A. Bad, badly written A. Too much flare on the end, but okay? There's your vertical stretch factor, there's your horizontal shift, and there's your vertical shift, right? Make sense? That's the procedure you need to use. Okay?